Today I'm going to show you how to get the classic start menu to look like the normal Windows 7 start menu button. I know some people really find that important. So uh, all you have to do is go to Internet Explorer, and, or whatever your internet browser is, uh, and then you're just going to have to go to this website. I will put it in the, uh, in the description down below. It's a pretty long one to type. Basically these people have gone through and found a way to make a skin that will make the start button look just like this, which is just like Windows 7. And uh, basically all you're going to have to do is click on the download Windows 7 skin for Classic Shell here, and it'll download from uh, DeviantArt. Just save it. And then uh, go to the folder where it saved. It's probably going to be your downloads folder. And then uh, extract it by just right clicking on it and saying extract all. If you have 7-zip then you might have to go to 7-zip extract, but uh, basically the idea is just extract it to here. Um, then all you're gonna have to do is go into that folder and there's two things that you need to copy which are start button and the dot skin file here. Uh, just copy both of those and then go to your uh, just go to computer and then to your drive that Windows 8 is installed on and then into the program files folder and you should already have classic start installed at this point so make sure you've already done that, watch my other video on how to do that uh, go, to, go into the classic start classic shell uh, folder there that's under so your installation drive and then program files then classic shell and then there should be a skins folder in there and uh, just paste both of those things from the do the 7, 7vg.skin file and the start button paste those both into that file folder sorry um, that'll be pretty instant, they're pretty small. Then uh, go to the classic start button here, right click on it, and go to settings. And here uh, you might it might look like this or it might look like that. Uh, whichever it's set on you still just go to the skin tab and then in this drop down menu here you select 7G, 7VG, sorry. And then uh, you're gonna have to go to the backup tab down here and say load from XML file and then you're going to need to go to where you downloaded that uh, the thing to earlier and go into that folder and then you're going to look for this settings.xml file so this this folder here is the one in my downloads folder that I downloaded that had those uh, that had those other um, those other folder uh, files in here like the uh, start button .png in the .skin file. Uh, so here you're just going to need to double click on settings and then hit OK and then you're just going to need to log off and log back in and uh, or just restart your computer or whatever and at that point it will have changed to look exactly like the Windows 7 start button. And there you go. You can see it's pretty identical now. 